Thank you. Well, I'm very nervous because there are so many people. <laughs> and, uh, so this is maybe in some sense a small result, but I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I, li I like this result very much uh, because there's very, very, there's a very interesting property here. So this is joint talk with the Shapan. Shapan Lian from Nankai University. And, uh, the first, so maybe I hope the, many of you are familiar with what's the definition of square of graph. And the, uh, square graph is the uh, vertex is the same as original vertex. And then and then we have new edge. So if uh, if the, the, dis the distance is m2, then we add new edge. So this is original graph, and it is blue. We keep original graph, and the, if the blue color is a new edge. So C6 become this way. And this type of study started by Bagner in 1997. 1977. But actually, I don't know why he start this subject. But maybe, but almost 2000, suddenly this topic gets some intention, uh, attention. And, uh, okay, let me uh, explain a little more about the definition again. So this is original graph, very simple, but square. And a little complicated. So this is the situation. And in this area, there's famous conjecture that by Begner. So for if G is planar graph, then then upper bound is the same. So if Q B, the upper bound is seven. So if maximum degree between four and seven, then upper bound delta plus five. And then, in general, this ratio. <coughs> oh, honestly, I don't know how much this question is important or not. <laughs> but this question is very famous. And maybe if you search, mass sign it, maybe a lot of people appear or, uh, about this concept. And this is very wide open. And only the first case is solved by Cotton Thomason. Uh, but his paper is very complicated. And as I recall, he, he announced he solved this early 2000. But for, for some time, I could not find any draft or any paper in the journal. Later, I realized his paper was on review forever. <laughs> <laughs> the reason is, referee cannot understand his paper. <laughs> there are so many referee, I know, <laughs> more than six. <laughs> first, first round, referee may give up. <laughs> Second round, give up. <laughs> Finally, I noticed his paper appeared, JCTV. I, I think it's more than 10 years. Replay process is more than 10 years. Uh, it's maybe more than 12 years because uh, I, wrote a paper, I wrote a paper about this, 2006. At that time, I know he announced this result. Mm. And for the maximum degree, at least four is open. And in this, for this problem, maybe the trivial low bound, upper bound this way. The, the, the low bound is y the maximum degree plus one is vertex. Then every neighbor, they should have different color. That's why low bound is delta plus one. Upper bound is the maximum possible way. And then, <coughs> unfortunately, this graph, who has a lower bound or who has upper bound. So, 
So maybe early stage, the typical, I mean, the interesting problem question was, so which graph is equal for this? So what kind of graph has such equality? And also people think about the least version. And another direction is the, 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 conjecture, the least square coloring conjecture is for square of graph G, then the choice number and forgotten number are the same. And the, so if this is true, then total color conjecture is true. Total color conjecture is, is delta plus two. So you're coloring vertices and edges, right? Yeah. Coloring vertices and edge. The total coloring conjecture is the famous conjecture. So if this context is true, that's true. Mm -hmm. but <coughs> actually, the partial case of this conjecture is true, then that conjecture is true. That, that's why, why this conjecture is appeared. And then also, if we make a square, then graph structure very complicated, then, oh, they, 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 then there's very high possibility and they could be equal. So I believe this one, and actually many people believe, okay, this could be true, even though we cannot check. And very surprisingly, it turned out it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's by me and Boramba, we construct Hunter example, and then also, a more surprising case is the gap can be arbitrary large. So after this, the many counting examples appeared. And if you come back to Wagner's uh, this conjecture, so for so we are interested in the small maximum degree case and then maximum degree three case. So as I told already, then the uh, Cotton Thomason give a proof. And then also these three people give another proof with computer checking. Because they use discharging, but like a four-color problem proof. They have many, so many cases. They say they use computer. But the uh, maximum at least four is not uh, is still open. And some story about here is maximum degree of M must four, then upper bound is 12. From here, conjecture, upper bound should be 9. And, and this is a gap. And maximum degree M must five, then upper bound 18, then is from conjecture is 10. And if maximum degree between 6 and 31, then they have this general bound. So this is so far the best bound. Uh, and then recently I noticed some Chinese people, they reduce this 17, something. And for general case, then actually ratio is three over two, and then Moloy and the Salabatipo they prove five over three. And this paper appeared at the JCTV. So from the Thomason's result for maximum D three, so we know. Uh, chromatic number M7, then from this conjecture, so we expect, we, we can ask 
about the choice number. So actually, at that time, the, 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 the uh, that conjecture was open. <laughs> so we believe, okay, so maybe same upper bound, seven, maybe it's very nice. Mm -hmm. they, but maybe it's, it's not possible in some sense. So even chromatic coloring, chromatic number is very difficult for choice. Getting choice number is not difficult. So, but anyway, we need to do something. So when with the Dan Cranston, we show that uh, uh, a solver cubing means maximum degree m minus three, and then if maximum degree m minus three, then goes at least seven, then upper bounds seven. Then the natural question is, actually the, we have cost restriction, right? We need to upgrade this cost condition. So after this, we want to ask, how about cost fix? Can you do, can you say something? But uh, unfortunately, after this, it, it was not easy to say something about here. Uh, okay, so this is this is time. If G is K degenerate, then we, we can show very easily upper bound K plus one. But maybe in general nobody can say upper bound K. So so reduce one one color is very difficult in this case. So here maybe similar happening. Mm -hmm. So actually it's, it's not difficult to get this up this bad this result, but reduce uh, if, if you want to reduce costs from seven to six, uh, it is not easy. Well, let me say let me explain why. Okay, mm -hmm. first some story about here. So recently, Dan Creston have a very nice survey. So he has, he's, he collected many information about coloring of a square, and then, so we have a uh, table. And so if it goes L7, up about seven, and it goes S9, then, and then uh, choice number up about six, because at least 13, then choice number M is 5, and 24, and then 4. And our result is actually weak. From here, we replace this 7 to 6. But uh, the, here the happening is okay. If you know some problem, obtain this result is not very difficult in some sense. So they people do something typical way and they obtain this. Way. But after behind this, after this, it is not easy. So here the difficult part is this <coughs> way, here. So to show this code, goes at least seven. This case, so we consider the minimal counting jump. And then we want to show minimal counter here, jump has no sparse subgraph. Sparse subgraph means, so for example, this one. Uh, 
Hold. Okay. So with Dan Cranston, we show that uh, minimal counter example cannot have such subgraph. So once we have a typical part uh, approaches, we delete this and use induction and get some contradiction. Then use discharging. We can show that average degree is at least this much because so if it's a small degree, and if you have no this way, and then we distribute the charge, then we can show uh, the average degree, at least this much. And then using this well-known <coughs> inequality, we can show that, that the, this graph goes is less than seven. This is contradiction. So, this is typical approach. When you say low sparse subgraph, yeah. these are the induced subgraphs or the induced? Uh, uh, as an induced subgraph. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe not in induced. Yeah. <laughs> Here it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Now uh, there's some difference sometimes in this. Uh, just. But uh, if you want to reduce from seven to six, then we need to show that from this inequality, we need to show that average degree at least three. So the, here the problem is maximum degree is three. Then average degree cannot it's very hard to achieve this. The another problem is the degree to vertex is not reducible. We cannot show degree to vertex cannot appear in the minimal context. But the maximum degree three case achieve this is almost impossible, right? So 2000 actually when with Dan Cranston, our story is. Okay, let's just think about this and then very immediately. Oh, impossible. <laughs> There's no hope for this. And then I have some another result. I, I visit to France border 2018. But I stay one stay there visit there for one month and then I got some result and then after we got some result, so we look, uh, we look for another problem. Then just I just talk about this. Then within ten minutes later, within ten minutes, <laughs> oh, impossible. <laughs> because if the if uh, 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 we are familiar with the discharging technique, we realize very quickly. It's not possible. So this, so as I draw here, the typical part is the so minimum counter example cannot have this uh, sparse subgraph, and but the and we need to consider this. I mean. Sometimes there's degree two vertex. We want to this degree two vertex cannot appear. Then the problem. If we delete 
and they use induction, we have proper coloring. Then bad case, this vertex, this vertex, same color. If you delete, it's possible. Mm -hmm. But basically in G, they should have a different color, right? Oh, this is square. Square. Mm -hmm. And then if you have some guarantee, this vertex, this vertex, a different color, then we can finish the proof. But actually, there's no way. What, what if I, instead of, the, uh, after deleting V6, mm. if I add an edge joining these two vertices? Then, because, because, Oh, girls is too small, I see. So, I don't like that. So, as a sign you said, then it's C5. And another method is we add some artificial subgraph. Still, we want to use induction. Mm -hmm. uh, such approach is possible, but it's not easy to find such a way. So as a, like here, so the typical part is degree two vertex is not reducible. I mean, the, we cannot remove. So like here, so if you have, so if you have V1, V5, the same color, then that's we have some problem. And then another way is this one. <coughs> we delete everyone. <coughs> we delete everything and then use induction. Then number of available, available color here You see here, how many? No, number of forbidden colors is one, two, three, four. This is three, three. This is two, two, two. Then, this case, this is number of available color in the least coloring. Uh, but uh, in the square, this triangle, the number of color is just two, then we cannot complete color. So in the, the typical approach is not possible. We, we cannot show this subgraph cannot appear. By, we, uh, we cannot show such a way by <coughs> each argument. Uh, but it's too early. So this is a typical part, and it, it actually let me say some story over here. Uh, initially, I talked with Shapanya. Uh, uh, okay, Shapanya is visiting Hanyang University for one year, and actually it turned out maybe become three years, and then. I asked her, okay, why don't you come to my university and chat? <laughs> <laughs> and then what kind of flower do you like? Then usually then usual response is I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Always I should still so very shy, right? <laughs> so I tried to find some some common interest, then I couldn't find it quickly. So I just uh, say, talk, I just give this problem initially, but, pro, but, but from previous my experience, oh, so if we, we give up, it's okay because I I had only two experience, two times experience, and the Shapan work continuously. And then the one time she oh, but professor, I have some bad case. How can you do? Oh, it turned out, it, it, it looks like a really bad case. Okay. So, 
I thought, okay, this is time to give up this problem. But then I, we see it on the blackboard and then we realize, oh, this bad case, is, we can fix. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then we continue and then later she come again. Oh, I have another bad case. <laughs> oh, but now it's really time to give up. <laughs> then we look at, and the structure is more complicated. Oh, but look at, very low chance, but I realize, oh, we can fix. Oh, then we can continue. Then we, we do such way several times. Then I realize, so I feel, oh, it's more com I get more confident to complete the proof. The, the problem is using the charging argument is so complicated. And then I worried, how can, he, how can I write this proof? It's a really long paper. And then people, and, and the people tend to do not want to read this paper. <laughs> uh, actually, so, okay, one part is, okay, oh, I have some confidence, okay, we can complete the proof. Because we look at large area, and the very complicated charging, then I think, oh, it's possible. But the problem is writing the paper. And another problem is, how can, how can our paper can be accept at the journal? <laughs> <laughs> and so I, we had some such a stress, and then suddenly, but by chance, and suddenly, Shafan gave another idea. Oh, the very, we can say very short argument, and then it turned out, we can show that this is the e server. This subref is the server. But as I described earlier, we cannot show this part reducible by each argument. Then here is idea. Okay. Initially we delete V6 and use induction. And the bad case is like this V1, V5. The same color, and the, but V two, V three, V four is different color. They should have a different color. A, B, C. Mm -hmm. Then here we look at worst case and use recoloring method. Eh? So this way. So this is the number of available color here, but this. Uh, this number is not good enough because uh, good is not good enough in the typical way. When you say number of available colors, you mean do you have some different induction hypothesis? No, no. For some vertices, there are only two colors into this? Yeah, yeah. The reason is for this vertex. If you have color x1, x2, x3, we cannot use x1, x2, x3. For be the three color, also with this vertex color, we can. Oh, I see. Original seven colors, yeah. but maybe if the list has contained this color, this it is four. Mm -hmm. Then here we can uh, use these colors, so the number of available becomes three, mm -hmm. and then here. Number four bidden color is one, two, three, and four, five. So we got two. So we consider worst case. So just based on this information, we cannot complete coloring. And but we look we look at worst case and why we cannot complete coloring. Then we define the CV. <coughs> uh, we look at the list of color. It could be available at V. Then we realize if V1 
is this way. Okay, if color, uh, we have three color, but the color is, is not this way, then we can change the color here. Just imagine, if color is, is not this way, then you can recolor V1. Yeah, we, we can recolor V1 and we are very happy. So, worst case is color is at V1 is this way and V5 is this way. And then we look at color is at V2, V3, V4. We consider worst case. Then we have this list. We can consider another way, but we can show easily such a case. We can complete color. And then we check every case. <laughs> every case, then we, we have a proper color. So this way. So let's consider this first one. Then color this way. And then we change color this way. V1 is keep, but V2 change to B, and then V3 A, and then V5 B. Uh -huh. We are able to change color this. And then, then you color V6 out of the V6, color. The number of, the, it, it has only six neighbors total. Uh -huh. So no problem. Uh -huh. Degree two is the six neighbors, so, so we can color at, at any time. So here we look at worst case and then like this, at each case we realize luckily we can complete color. That's why okay. we are able to show we are able to show this lemma. So if we show this lemma, the good thing is, the usually discharging argument in planograph, the, if there are many discharging rules, and was a, was a many long and very complicated argument, but our case very happy. If we use this function, I wrote it that way. And then the degree two vertex is value negative two. And then uh, if you're familiar with the charge, and then C6, the, the charge is zero. And C7, negative one, a uh, positive one. Maybe it's good to explain slowly, because some people might not be familiar this one? with this. Yeah, so. uh, just, just use Euler formula. So you know, if it's added the side of space, then it's same as this way. So it's not like this. Yeah. Okay. And then you know this here. This is vertex, this is face. Then if you add everything, and uh, it is six n, this one. This 
way. So it's from Euler formula, just negative twelve. So we want to uh, discharge the argument, so we want to charge it, distribute, but total sub is same. So you're giving each vertex yeah. twice degree minus six as yeah. the charge and the uh, well, phase don't yeah. degree minus six. Yeah. Right? So that's the charge. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for example, this way. G6, G7, this is charge zero. zero, this is negative two, this is plus one, mm -hmm. maybe also this is negative two. Yeah, okay. Operatory, if you distribute, Total is non part non negative. <laughs> so the so why we uh, why the so here the, in this case every face is happy. I mean the zero or plus one or if ever C A is plus two. But the degree vertex but degree two vertex problem. Degree vertex, degree two vertex should receive something. So, so we need a rule to distribute nice way. And then, so here, very good thing is we have only one rule. If you look at discharging argument paper, we have mm -hmm. ten rule. And very complicated checking. And very good thing is only one rule. The logic, uh, this is come from this very strong grammar. So you have two faces, which are, right? If you have degree two vertex, mm. then you have two faces. Yeah, Each right. of them give one, right? Right. So that's why it becomes zero. Yeah. Okay. So as a Sanyu said, uh, usually. Everybody, so it's at least none, at least zero. Mm -hmm. So we want such a situation. And to do this, we need some very small information. That is, uh, with Dan Creston, which is name, with Dan Creston, we proved this lemma. The, the information here is every cycle. The distance be between the degree two vertex is at least four. <coughs> it means in the space, you, you cannot have many two degree two vertex. Oh, really? the, I mean, the, the reason is this one. I mean, C10, it could have two degree two vertex. It could have two degree two vertex but not three. So using that information, here the final page, and then we distribute charge, and the total sum is same. And every vertex, every phase is non-negative. So total sum is non, at least zero, but original function is negative 12. So it's contradiction. Right? So we complete proof this way. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm very happy this because we have, this is my first paper 
which I have only one discharging rule. <laughs> It's almost impossible. <laughs> I mean, okay. some people, the people who are working on discharging argument, some people, uh, like Professor Kostachka, he has only one or two, he, he has a small number of discharging rules. His argument is very simple. And for this, we need, we need a very strong lemma, very strong structure information. In that case, we, We could have a small number of discharging rules. But Borodin case, he has weak information of this structure. <laughs> so his discharging is very complicated. <laughs> And here the happening is we have very strong structure information. Then we could have only one discharging rule. So this is how we prove. And then for next step, we could think maybe can you read us to five or four? <laughs> or If you show this, just no condition of course, uh -huh. then it's very wonderful. Then you can beat the Cotton Thomas <laughs> paper. <laughs> uh, I think just to show such a thing, then we need, we should avoid some discharge technique. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, almost no, no. <coughs> so we need some new direct, or, or some new approach. Okay. So okay, okay this is uh, how we prove. And then uh, at, the, at Yonsei University, at the Korean community workshop, I told another story, maybe Sang Il heard. And then, oh, oh, maybe the many international visitors, so maybe uh, you are not, you don't know him. And, but there's famous Korean mathematician. His area is uh, algebraic geometry or algebraic number theory. And the, the, uh, geometry area. So he's a professor at Oxford, and now he's in England. And he published another math, and he's very famous. But, so one time he was professor at the University of Arizona in 2005. I met him uh, because we went, we attended a workshop in Taiwan. And uh, we, by chance, we took a bus together. And we talked about some, something, a uh, chat. And, and then some people asked him, wow, Korean, he's professor, he was professor at University of Arizona in America. So he was teaching American students, right? So he, some person asked him, what is the difference between Korean student and American student? His answer, you can, can you guess? So his answer is like this, Korean student, strong point, Korean student has many knowledge. <laughs> Korean student know a lot. And what is the weakness? That is the weakness. <laughs> <laughs> so no too much, so very easily to give up. And the very strong point of American uh, weakness of American student. American student didn't study very much, <laughs> so they don't know very much. The very strong point. That's a strong point <laughs> because they don't know anything. They work very aggressively. <laughs> Actually, I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is all I have today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, any questions?
questions? Yeah. Can you, do you believe that your technique can be extended to prove for high girls' case? High bus? I mean, it's not to reduce the bus. No, no, what I mean is that in the previous slide, you showed the table that if girls is at least ah. 24, then ah. this chromatic number is bounded by 3. No, oh, did, I did not try it seriously. Uh, yes, that table. So. Um, yeah. But our method is very good for upper bound 7. <laughs> mm. <laughs> our method is very good upper bound 7, but, but other upper bound is, is not directly up recovered. Also, C5 can, it, it cannot apply. I mean, we have a bad case also. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but if you are interested, then I think you can reduce, upgrade this bound. Because initially, so I think the international digital you you know are bad and many here and then they work here this one. Mm -hmm. uh, they do something they um, some certain level but uh, maybe it is not really tight bound, right? So if you work a little harder then <laughs> you can upgrade this. Can we remove the uh, planar condition? Uh -huh. uh, to use Euler formula. <laughs> <laughs> like for instance, K5 minus 3 yeah. or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then mm. upper bound should be higher. What if you go to graph of maximum degree 4? Four? 4. Can you? And there's some open case, right? Because user committing number, the conjecture is still open. Yeah. But for list committing number, can you say something for? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't try this value. Uh -huh. So 2018, we did the table Kieran and then curve, and then we tried to. Uh, we, 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 we try to do different, different condition. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but yeah, uh, we, we could try the, the choice uh, list version. Oh, can we then can we push the some other type of buffer cases since uh, the only Part that the planar person is used is just consulting the discharging rule in yeah, yeah. the older formula. Then, yeah. for example, if we replace the condition that G is a planar graph to uh, G is embeddable on the torus, then maybe we can uh, refine uh, uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the discharging rule and apply the same method that can be do the same. But instead of minus yeah, right, right. really get something. So user discharge argument can be applied to the projectable plane. Uh -huh. Is the the the, the is Euler formula values negative one? Mm -hmm. It's M. Planar work is two negative two, and torus is zero. Project project plan. I am not sure the correct name or is yeah. negative. Yeah. Then then the similar thing can be applied. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So mm. Uh, 
Ah, the question is, if you want to extend the proof to the, the girls at least five, mm. what goes wrong? That's the uh, why the, our method doesn't work? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, okay. This, this case, I want to remove this. Remove this and use induction. Then maybe coloring is this way. In the same color. And <coughs> let's say V1, V2, V3, V3. And the number of available color here is one, two, three. still three. Three. One, two, three. Two. But the problem is this way. Color is here alpha A. Yeah, A. Yeah, we cannot change color. Mm -hmm. The reason is, whatever situation, these two buttons use A and B. Then this button still use alpha also. There's no other choice. But if you show, okay, that case does not, that case doesn't happen, then you can do more. Mm -hmm. But potentially you could use some cafe chain argument. Yeah, <laughs> if such argument <laughs> works, then. <laughs> right, any other questions? Okay, if not, let's thank the speaker. Alright, uh